Well, good morning. <laughs> I guess it's a good morning. <laughs> if you want to make God laugh, the cliche goes, tell him your plans. And I had a plan for this morning's video. Well, let me read what I've written. The title today, <laughs> unexpectedly, is Ninth Wave When We Are Forced to Change Plans. And I admit it. I don't like it when things don't work as they are supposed to work. It's frustrating. <laughs> I had a plan for today's video, and internet service is down. I was on hold for over an hour, not realizing the scope of the problem. I'm told it is widespread. To me, all master servers should be on motherships above the earth that are not subject to such disruptions. <laughs> oh, I was going to talk about 11.11 and the 10th wave and the 11th wave, etc. And I had a page that I was going to be referring to online, but Windows went and did an, up, an automatic update and rebooted my computer. <laughs> and... I, lo I didn't have internet connection when I brought it back up. And it, Microsoft or Windows is not to put, no program is ever supposed to automatically reboot my computer. Because I keep programs open all the time. And I keep pages open on the internet that I want to refer to on, the, on my browser. And it messes me up in Dreamweaver and everything else because I've got to reset all the programs and reopen all the windows again. Anyway, I promised that I would talk from where I am. And so this morning has not gone as I anticipated it going when I went to bed last night due to glitches that are obviously beyond my control. Oh, but I'm deadly serious that I have long wished for our extraterrestrial friends to provide internet service to the world from the mother from the motherships from the UFOs I'm positive such technology exists I'm positive it's not a pipe dream it's very real and very tangible. I'm convinced of it. I have been for a long time. There are technologies on those motherships that will heal our bodies and, and do all sorts of things that we would consider miracles today because they don't have the limitations that we've been, that have been imposed upon us on earth, such as internet service even being able to be taken down. And I hope this isn't anonymous taking down the internet. The internet at this time in the human development is essential, essential in re-educating people as to what's happening in the world. And, and education is an essential part of the awakening. We have to know about the world that we live in, both spiritually and in the natural sense. In, this, in the matrix sense. We need to understand both. You know, that uh, you that have listened know that I've long been an advocate of not calling something negative. There's so many people out there that are saying, well, I can't, I don't want to go there because that's negative. In other words, it makes, it brings up feelings that they don't want to feel. Well, that is negative. To not want to feel a feeling because you don't like it is a very, very negative thing to do. I mean, I have learned the hard way. And it's not because I like feeling frustrated or feeling anger or feeling sadness or feeling grief. It's not that I like those things. I don't like them any more than the next person. But I like the fact, in fact, I love the fact that I am able to feel that I am able to connect with all of my emotions. And they are my servants. They are my friends. None of them, are, not one of them is an enemy. Not even anger. And that's something that, that I wish I could get through to every person on this planet 
It's trying to think only positive thoughts. It's a negative thought. For, from my perspective, it's a negative thought to want to step aside from something and not fully experience the human experience. We are here on this planet in physical bodies to experience what it means to be human. And that's a divine experiment. That's a divine gift, if you will, to be able to be able to have the wide range of emotions, to have the massive amount of contrast that we're able to understand light and dark, masculine and feminine energy, uh, positive and negative charge things. It's important that we bring, that we have that whole experience and that we bring it into balance, and I've said this many times before, we simply have to stop the dueling or the polarization of the gift of opposites. Because then we're saying to the universe, I don't like, I don't like this, that, that I'm having to live in duality. And there's so many, so many spiritual teachers that still say, well, we're moving beyond duality. That's total bunk to me, and I will keep on saying it. We can't if, if we move beyond duality, there is no more creation, period. There is no more creation. It doesn't exist. It's just nothingness. And creation is everythingness, out of nothingness. And I don't want the circle to go back to nothingness. We created this individuation process so that we could know ourselves as individuals. And that's part of the whole game plan of creation. It has been from the beginning as I understand it, as I tap into the energies, as I've been tapping into those energies for a long time in my life. It's part of the game plan to have this tremendous diversity. And the planet Earth is, a, is probably one of the most diverse planets in all of creation. I don't know that that's true. But I've read that it is, and part of me believes that this is, this is, this is taken the experiment. Earth has taken the experiment to the umpteenth level in creating, in creating opportunities for us to experience the widest possible range of events and circumstances and feelings and thoughts. And I don't see any of it as bad. You say, but Ron, what about the Matrix? What about the, the controllers, the Illuminati? What about the people that are, that are dark workers and obvious dark workers? Okay, what about them? Are they not also part of God? Now, some people would say, no, they're not. They're of the devil. Is not the devil also part of God? Is anything separate from God? I know there are people that believe it is. That's the illusion. That's the illusion. That's the lie that we tell ourselves. That we can be separate from something. No, we can't. We are each of us perfect microcosms of the macrocosm. And every single one of our experiences is a gift to ourself. Every single one of them. Even the frustration when we're forced to change plans. We take it and we create with what is, just like I'm doing right now. It wasn't my plan to talk about this today. It wasn't my plan to bring any of this up. But I go with the flow and it's all good. Even the Matrix has given us tremendous gifts. Yes, we have been in ignorance. Yes, many people embrace the ignorance and call it intelligence. <laughs> but it's a gift. Everything is a gift of experience. Everything. And yes, I would like to be in a utopian world. I've often been accused by my brother and others of being a utopian. Yes, I am. I stand guilty. I want a world that works for everybody. I want it 
I want to be able to love every soul equally, without distinction, without condemnation, without judgment. That's what I want. That's what I want to experience. And I will experience that because it is my strong desire. And our strong desires will always come to pass for us. I want a world where I can connect with my extraterrestrial brothers and sisters, with the angelic realm, if you please. I want a world where I can connect with other humans from other cultures and other religions, from other nations around the planet. I love that. I love knowing that everybody is a part of me and I am a part of everyone else. That there's only God here and there's only ever been God here. Whether we call the part of God Satan or whether we call the part of God Christ. It doesn't matter. Do you understand? There's only one God. There's only one life. There's only one light. There's only one reality. That's why they call it universe. And this ninth wave is the time of coming into universal consciousness. That's what it's been all about all along. Awakening to the fact that we are interconnected in unity. Learning unity in diversity. That's our lesson. That's the lesson of this, of this gifted ninth wave that's coming. And yes, there is a tenth wave and an eleventh wave. There are other waves coming, and each one is 20 times smaller than the one before. Can you imagine that? That's what I was going to talk about. And maybe I'll talk about it tomorrow, or maybe there will be another change of plans. Because sometimes life forces us to go in a direction that is for our highest good, but we don't recognize that it's for our highest good. We don't claim it because we don't want it. Well, I want everything that's for my highest good, whether I'm aware of it being for my highest good or not. Because I want to live in love. And I do live in love. I'm learning. I'm getting it, folks. I'm learning that I have to love it all or I'm not loving at all. That's a hard saying for a lot of people. I get that. I know that. But it's something that I chosen and I would encourage as many as possible that are able to choose that at this time to choose it for yourself to love everything and to see everything as a gift even the times we are forced to change our plans maybe the new way is a better way or maybe the shift in energy that you're that you're experiencing is a gift to somebody else that you're giving by just telling the truth, by being authentic and genuine. That's love. That's the love that I give to you, that the Father and the Mother pour through my heart and my being to you, to remind you that you are all. That everything, everything is part of you. And it's time to love yourself. Because you are part of God. You are part of all of creation. Everything, do you get it? Everything is part of you. Learn to stop dueling and fighting and warring. And learn to dance. Learn to romance. Learn to be in the flow. Give yourself to life. Give yourself to love. Give yourself to experiencing all that is and learn to stop resisting and judging. It's hard. It's a hard one. I know it. I'm no different than you. I've had to go through it too. But I'm learning. And I encourage you to learn it as well. Namaste.